everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armour with the Stock Swoosh, and I wanted to talk to you today about figuring it all out. So a lot of times people come to me, they have full-time jobs, they're working. Some people are working from home now still in 2021. Some people are back at work and they're busy, or some people are, you know, driving around for their job, depends on what they're doing for a living, and they want to learn how to trade. They want to take my course. My class is always on the weekends, so that makes it convenient for people, at least if you don't work the weekend. Now, if you work in the weekend, you have to get the weekend off to do the class. But the time to trade, obviously, is only when the market's open, which is Monday through Friday. And whether you do the options trades or the day trades, you have to be available during market hours to at least place the trade and port in buy order or sell order for an option or to be in and out in the morning quickly between 9.30 and 10 in the day trades. So there is something that you have to figure out in your head. If, I, if you really want to do this, how are you going to make it work? How are you going to take the class? When are you going to make the time to do the class? And then when are you going to make the time to trade? Here's my advice to you if you're one of those people. That, that wants to do this, that wants to come and learn from me and wants to trade, wants to be successful, and that's your, that's your goal. I always say to people, get a plan of action. I'm a very organized person. Like, I, I for those of you who don't know me, I mean, I have, like, stickies, and I write notes for myself. Like, I'm even running out of stickies here. You can see I only have a couple left. I'm constantly making little notes of things that I have to do today. What do I have to do before the end of the day? What do I have to do tomorrow? I, I try to always get a plan of action together for myself of things that I have to do. And a goal of trading would be a thing that you have to do or something that you want to do. It's like on your list of things to do. You want to, you want to learn how to trade. You want to trade. So you got to get a plan of action together for it. But I'm not even going to talk about that specifically today. What I wanted to talk about today is you need to have in your mind that you want to do this, that you want to successfully trade. So you have that in your mind. It's at the forefront of your mind. That's your goal. That's what you want to make happen. That's what you want to manifest. That's what you want to do. However, you don't need to know how you're going to make it happen all at once. You don't. Okay. So while it's great to know A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and to sit down and make a whole plan of action and write it all out exactly how everything is going to go, if you know you want to do this, but you don't know how you're going to be able to make the time to trade every day or a couple days a week, you know, you, you, you don't know all of these things. Maybe you have the money to do the class, but you don't have the money for a trading account yet, or you don't even know where to open up a trading account yet. Guess what? You, you don't need all the answers at once. The most important thing is that you have your eye on the goal and you start taking steps and action to create that goal to make it happen. The answers will come to you. So my advice today is that you don't need to have all the answers at once. The answers will come to you. Once you start to get the ball rolling, things will come together. If you never get the ball rolling, it's not going to come together. You understand what I mean? Like, you know, you want to you want to buy a house until you start looking, you're not going to know what's out there or how much the house is cost. Maybe you just start looking online, seeing exactly what things cost. You, you don't have to go sit down with a mortgage broker immediately. You know, there's there's so many steps involved to achieving our dreams and goals. We don't have to have it all figured out at once. But we don't have to wait until we have it all figured out to start taking action to create that event or goal or to manifest it in our life. And I think many people think that they need to have it all figured out first, particularly with trading. They think that they need to have the money uh, to train. They think they have to know where to train. They think they have to know the exact weekend they're going to do the class. They think that they have to know every single thing, okay, before before they come and take the class with me and, and get involved. You don't need to have it all figured out. Exactly. Just start taking action towards that. Because very often we can have a plan of action. And sometimes we know for certain things in life, and we make that plan, and it goes awry anyways. Things happen we don't expect. Sometimes that's for the better. Sometimes that's for the good. It's not always a negative. So you may create a plan of action, and they, you may have to change it anyways. So don't wait to pursue your dream of trading if that's what you want to do until you have everything figured out of exactly how it's going to happen, how and when and where you're going to trade every single day, and so on and so forth. I say start taking active steps towards making this happen for you. Doing nothing is absolutely not going to get you there.
and you don't need to know all the answers ahead. While you might have a plan of action all written out of what you're going to do, and you, you could be in the process of already making it happen, that's great, but you don't need it, okay? So take the stress off of you where you don't need to have all the answers exactly right now. That will help you because if you get in a big stress ball in your head about trying to create something that you want that's a big goal in your life, whether it's training for a living or just learning how to do it, you don't know anything about at all about it or how to pay for a class like mine or open up an account or whatever, it becomes then something that's stressful for you and something that's not fun and that's not what you want. In an ideal world, trading is supposed to be fun. Now, while it's not fun when I take a trade and I lose in a trade, it is fun when I win. And because I have more winners and losers, overall, trading for me is fun. I also find it a lot easier now that I've been doing this as long as I have than it was years and years and years ago. Because even if I take a trade that loses, I know the next one's probably going to win. So, and I learn things along the way. And that's one of the reasons I've continued to get better and better as the years have gone on. So you must start the process, whatever those steps are for you. They could be large steps. They could be baby steps. But don't wait until you have it all figured out exactly how it's going to happen because chances are life continues to move on. Again, we're almost halfway through 2021. Life will continue going by. And before you know it, you're going to miss the opportunity. Whether and You could even miss the opportunity to learn from me or trade with me or even learn my class. And, and I hate to see that happen for some of you that have been following me as long as you have. So think about that today. You don't need all the answers up front to start to pursue your dreams, particularly if it's trading. If you have any questions, email me at melissathestockswish.com. Have a great day.